President Trump's former fixture, Michael Cohen, sentenced to three years in prison for financial crimes, including tax evasion, lying to Congress about a real estate deal in Moscow, and campaign finance violations. Walking out of court, his family was visibly shaken. He's a weak person. Inside the courtroom, Mr. Cohen apologized to the judge, saying the president was right to have called him weak because, quote, I felt it was my duty to cover up his dirty deeds rather than listen to my own inner voice and my moral compass. But in the end, the judge stating that Cohen was, quote, motivated by personal greed and ambition. Mr. Cohen's lawyer chose not to comment. Anything you'd like to say about what happened inside? Not at the moment. Thanks a lot. It's a stunning fall from grace for a man who once thought he would work side by side with the president in the White House. Back in August, he tweeted, if anyone is looking for a good lawyer, I would strongly suggest that you don't retain the services of Michael Cohen. It was then that Cohen pleaded guilty to multiple criminal counts, including orchestrating payments to two women who claimed to have sexual relationships with the president. Stormy Daniels received $130,000 from Cohen. Michael Avenatti is Daniels' attorney. What do you think the president's state of mind is right now? Well, I mean, I think the pucker factor uh, is probably very, very significant, and it should be. Here's the problem. Donald Trump entrusted a moron with his innermost secrets, and now it's going to come back and cost him. Mr. Cohen will have to surrender to authorities on March 6th. In addition to three years in prison, he will also have to pay nearly $2 million in restitution and fines. Live in the newsroom, I'm Cristian Benavides, PIX11 News.